I'm Trooper Guy Gill. Welcome to another edition of Good to Know. Imagine if a family member we know and loved went missing today. Our family and friends would be left in a panic wondering what happened to them. In Washington, when a person goes missing, we have two different systems in order to get information out to the public. Our number one priority is to locate and recover the missing person as quickly as possible. Let's take a look. Carrie Gordon is the State Amber Alert Coordinator. She oversees the technology used to send out alerts as part of the Missing and Unidentified Persons Unit in the Washington State Patrol. Washington was the first state in the country to use the web alerting portal system, which allows law enforcement to enter information about missing children into the web portal and notify the public simultaneously when these children go missing, saving valuable time getting the information about these abductions to the public. Washington utilizes two different types of emergency advisories. These are Amber Alerts and Endangered and Missing Person Alerts. While both are critical to getting information out quickly, they have different criteria for when they are issued. Children need to be 17 years of age or younger for an Amber Alert to be given. An abduction needs to be verified and preferably listed within four hours. There needs to be enough description of the child to make the alert effective and must be investigated and implemented by law enforcement. Finally, there needs to be enough information to believe the child is in danger. Once law enforcement determines the abduction meets the Amber Alert criteria, they issue the alert. They notify broadcasters and the state transportation officials. Amber Alerts interrupt regular programming, broadcasting on TV, radio, and highway signs. If Amber Alert criteria isn't met, but there's a person in harm's way, then an endangered and missing person advisory can be sent. It's similar to an Amber Alert, except they don't get displayed on road signs. Also, they won't show up on electronic devices unless you've signed up for them. The broader we can get the message out, the better chances are that the child or missing adult will be recovered. If it was your family member that had gone missing, would you want the same amount of attention devoted to their recovery? The public can sign up to receive Amber Alerts at the website amberalert.com. It's a simple process they can sign up to receive Amber Alerts through their cell phones or email. They would do that by clicking the register button on the home page of amberalert.com's website. From there you have the option to register your email address, enter a password in, and at that point you will be given the option to enter a cell phone number for text messages or an email address for email alerts. The Amber Alert notification and the Endangered Missing Persons Advisories are two different um, alerts that you need to sign up for separately through the website. Across the United States, there have been over 650 successful recoveries in direct result of Amber Alerts. They serve as deterrents to those who prey upon our children and cases have shown the suspect has released the abducted child after seeing or hearing an Amber Alert. You can help law enforcement locate a family's loved one by signing up, not opting out. I'm Trooper Guy Gill, and that's good to know.